please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Let's uh, go on and invite our next guest, Kamlesh Kotak, Head of Research at AMSEC is joining in. Kamlesh, I know you have a couple of interesting ideas for us. Before that, uh, before we get to that, just your thoughts. Um, you know, would you just go in headlong right now and buy irrespective of these, uh, you know, these immediate concerns or would you wait for the dust to settle and then you'd be out with your shop shopping list? Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, so we rightly said that the current market, given the way it is now drifting down, we would not advise investors to go at one go and buy with a shopping list. Of course, we can look at companies which have got good fundamentals, the business is not impacted to that extent by the recent adversities, and valuation comfort is there. Uh, investor can gradually look at uh, increasing exposure and buying at deeps. I think that is the strategy we can uh, 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 currently see for our investors. Of course, there is not a time to go uh, head on and uh, buy all the stocks at one go. I think that's not the right strategy at this point in time. Okay, Kamlesh, hi. Good afternoon. So, what kind of stocks you reckon uh, you should start looking to, you know, start buying even now? So as I said, three things is what we are looking at. One is there should be always a business visibility case. So if the business is not impacted to a great extent for a company, particularly in the mid-cap space, either by the crude factor or the INR weakening, that is one factor which is paramount for us. Second thing is the visibility in terms of the valuation comfort that we have. So the valuation should not be out of sync. And third, there should be high pedigree companies with no leverage or major exposure to those kind of uh, uh, high debt that are the companies which would certainly be looking to be promising at every decline. Okay, uh, by the way, on the Nifty, one stock that's now getting interesting is Titan. It's down 4%. The reason I say interesting is Titan is getting back to its classic trading range, around 815, 800 thereabouts on the downside. And then you see it uh, start dragging its feet around 950 on the upside. And it's getting towards the lows. If we pull up a slightly longer chart, maybe six months or a year, uh, it'll be pretty visible on the screen. Uh, Anand, let me ask you this. Would you buy Titan now? Well, seasonally, it's a definitely a good uh, time to be. I mean, broadly speaking, the only positive right now is the fact that we are going to get into the festive season. And you would therefore expect that at least some of the domestic demand will become visible. Other than that, I don't see anything that is going to drive almost the market or any of the major sectors. So, you know, uh, if you are looking at it from that point of view, where can the near-term... Uh, uh, growth come through, uh, clearly Titan uh, qualifies. Okay, Titan clearly qualifies. Uh, uh, Kamlesh, uh, you know, uh, healthcare and IT, they have done well. Uh, uh, you reckon uh, that could still be the space to be in or is this trade now getting overcrowded? No, I think there is some value. Uh, I will not go by the sectoral thing, but yes, there are some stocks and names which are looking to be interesting. That's what again I'm reiterating that they are not an out and out buy, but certainly the weakness could be seen as a good value buying opportunity for investors who are looking for one year plus kind of horizon. So yes, we uh, are actually liking some of the names in the mid cap space also, like NIT Limited in IT or IT education services and Zydus Wellness in the uh, FMCG space is something which we would always like and recommend to our investors. Um, okay, so those are some of the ideas. I think one more stock uh, that we've not spoken about of late is uh, Schaeffler, uh, Kamlesh. Now, this is a stock that's not very liquid because it's so, I think, widely held by mutual funds and institutions. If I remember the numbers, I think 26% of uh, the shareholding is actually mutual funds. Uh, what is the story here yeah. and why would you look to buy it? Now, this Keffler is a, again a very interesting story in terms of the m and that is going to be happening now. It's the leading bearing company in India and a part of the Scaffler Group Global with a 50% subsidy in India. What has now happened is the company has got an exposure towards all the automotive, industrial, infrastructure, all the three sectors. Recently, the parent group uh, globally has announced the merger of this listed entity with two of the unlisted entities which also are present in India, IANA and LUK. Now, these two companies would be merged and they have a very high exposure to the automotive business. So, as a merge entity, the revenue of the company and the profitability will be double. It will be a share swap kind of a, a arrangement. So, the equity capital also will be diluted by 88%. So, from day one, it will be EPS accretive. 
going forward the share of automotive which is currently for the listed entity is at 31 percent will go more than double to 60 percent which will give us kind of a stable earning visibility so a parent company an mnc consolidating all its operations in india is a very positive thing which also will bring a good amount of synergy to the company i think the company is uh, having a great prospect with uh, steady growth in the automotive business and opting in the infrastructure industrial business